Hey guys, this is DFlash and we're back with another video. This week we're going to take a look at Saturator and how we can use it on our drums and bass sounds to add a little bit of a grit or dirt or that crunchy sound to it. So what we're going to do is we've got a track here that I've been working on and I'm just going to play a little bit of it and then we'll play with the Saturator. Okay, so that's pretty much what we've got. Um, so what we're going to do is start out with uh, putting a saturator on our bass sounds. So that's these. So we've got a bit of a compressor on it and then we've got a sidechain compressor also. So what we're going to do is throw the saturator right before the side chain. And we'll turn it off to start and then I'll turn it on and you can hear the difference. And then as we add drive, that's what's going to be driving the saturator. Okay, so as you can hear, it just adds a bit of a distortion as if you were running it through uh, an amplifier or something like that. So our main control is the drive, and that controls how much of the signal is pressed into the saturator. And then we have our curve, and that controls the distortion, um, well, the curve distortion. So you have multiple different types of curves we can use. You have analog and digital which clip it right at the input and then you have soft sign, medium curve, hard curve. These are all similar just as you go up they get harder and harder so I'll play through it and we'll cycle through them so you can hear them. soft clip which will soften the clipping. Now that's a dramatic effect and I don't know you can use that if you want but it's not very pl pleasing to the ears if you're trying to make a musical sound. Um, if it's an effect that you're trying to get that's definitely what you want to go for. So soft clip will actually um, it actually will soften the clipping for the analog clip and I believe for the digital clip also. And then what we have here is our color which is a filter. So you actually have two filters. You have your bass filter and then you have your frequency filter here that is controlled by the frequency knob and then the width and the depth. So um, I'll play with the, I'll show you the bass. If you go to the left on the bass that control that gives it a filter in the lows and then if you turn it up that uh, accentuates the highs of the distortion like clicking in the wrong channel so you hear how that brings in the high and here comes the lows and here's our other filter And then we have one more curve type that we didn't look at yet, 
and that's the wave shaper. This allows you to make a custom curve uh, based on these six properties here. So your drive determines how much of the input signal is affected by the curve and then your linear uh, works together with the curve so that's how you control the linear portion of the curve and then you have your curve which is how many curves are applied to it so you can apply it that way and I'll play the sound through here turn it down a little bit and then dampen brings you back down to the input level it works as kind of a gate where it, cru it crushes down your dynamics it flattens the signal and then depth controls it actually is kind of like a multiplier for the curve it controls your amplitude of the curve and then period controls your density so you see how we get much closer usually works better as a subtle effect but you can play with it and use it to get whatever sounds you're looking to get and then the DC offset it turns on the DC filter at the input level so if you have a clip that the DC off input is uh, not offset then or is offset then this will correct it before it comes into the saturator and then you have your input level which controls how much is or I'm sorry your output level which controls how much is coming out of the effect and then you have a dry wet so you can mix in some of the original signal the dry signal in with the affected signal now what I like to do is if I'm using the saturator I like to try to match my levels so I'll have the drive turned up but then I'll turn the output down so that you can kind of hear what the saturator is actually doing and not just hear it get louder. So let's see if that if I match that up right. Yeah, that kind of works. But like I said, I mean we we applied a lot of effects to this, so there you go. Now you can kind of hear just and like I said you could also use this effect on uh, drums if you wanted to so we'll turn this back up to where it was and then we'll bring in our drum track You can hear how it adds just a little bit more dirt to the drum track. And that's Saturator. Um, as usual, I'd love to hear how you use it in your tracks or your productions. Um, Definitely leave some comments in the comment field and make sure you subscribe so that you get the next video. And thanks for checking it out.